Artaxerxes I of Armenia was born sometime between 240 and 220 BC. His father's name was Zeriades, and at the time of his son's birth, he was a general under the Seleucid king, Antiochus III. His mother's name has unfortunately been lost to time. Not much is known of Artaxerxes' early life, until the age of 18, when he joined his father, becoming a general in the Seleucid army. His father belonged to the Orontid House of Armenia, that ruled as both satraps under the Achaemenid Persian Empire, and as autonomous kings of Sophien and Armenia. Having the nobles of Armenia on your side was a good thing for the Seleucid Empire, but perhaps they gave these Orontid men too much power. Their loyalty would be tested after 190 BC. In this year, Antiochus III suffered a heavy defeat at the hands of the expanding Roman Republic. Only two years later, the Armenian father and son generals started a revolt against the Seleucid rule in Sophene and Armenia. The revolt proved to be successful, and especially when Rome mediated on behalf of the conflict. The resulting Treaty of Apamea would be signed in 188 BC, granting Zariadris the kingship of Sophene and granting his son, Artaxerxes, the kingship of Armenia. With the second son of Zariadris set to inherit Sophene, while the kids of Artaxerxes were to inherit Armenia and begin their own dynasty. This dynasty would take the name of the Artaxia dynasty, in honor of its founder. The Aranta dynasty that he had descended from claimed their own descent from that of the Achaemenid Persian Empire. Even Artaxerxes' name is just the Armenian spin on the name Artaxerxes, who once ruled as an emperor of the Achaemenid Persian Empire. Artaxerxes and his father didn't see it as enough to own their two small kingdoms that they now ruled, so they continued their war against the Seleucids, and Artaxerxes took the land closest to him by the Caspian Sea, called Media Atroponte, as well as the districts of Sunuk and Vesperukan, while King Zariadris took over Akalinsi and Tehran. He also joined a coalition against King Ferrances of Pontus after his capture of the city of Sinope, but he most likely gained nothing but respect from this conflict. Artaxerxes did his best in supporting the Armenian language, but retained a heavily Persian-influenced clothing and culture. In 176 BC, King Artaxerxes founded a new capital called Artaxeta, which he named after himself. Although it has never been proven, it is important to note that Hannibal Barca may have stayed in the city for some time after Rome had defeated him in the Second Punic War. The Armenian kingdom managed to defend against Seleucid attacks until 165 BC, when Artaxerxes was defeated by Antiochus IV, who made the mistake of keeping Artaxerxes as a governor. Only a year later, Antiochus IV would die, and with his death, the Marches of Miletus revolted in the eastern portion of the Seleucid Empire, and was undoubtedly supported by Artaxerxes. In 160 BC, Artaxerxes would get into a dispute with his brother over who would come to control the kingdom of Sophene. He would lose out to his brother in regards to the ownership of Sophene. During the reign of Artaxerxes, one of his main missions was to clearly define the borders of his land with obelisk, which he continually added to Armenia as he gained new land. In 160 BC, King Artaxerxes would die and leave the throne to his son, Artaxerxes I of Armenia, 